Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to talk a bit on future indefinite tense. So in this video we are going to cover five different topics related to future indefinite tense. Its key points, future indefinite tense definition, its usage, and its three formulas and the last we have a short quiz regarding future indefinite tense. So let's get started. Key points. Will and shall are used as a helping verbs. Helping verbs are also called auxiliary verbs. Shell is used with the following subjects like I and we. Will is used with he, she, it, you and they. Here is a short note. However, shell has been dropped from use recently and has been replaced by will for all individuals. The use of shell has been greatly reduced in modern English. It is only used in official correspondence. Means we use will with all the subjects like I, we, you, they, he, she, it. Shell is dropped. Shell is only used in official correspondence and shell has lost its importance in modern English. First form of the verb is used as a verb. Its definition is future indefinite tense tells about the action which will happen in the future. For example, coming time. Coming time what will happen? That is all told about future that we discuss in future for example John will play football after one hour there is no planning or intention in the future sentences used in the future indefinite tense it is used when talking about actions that will occur due to future conditions means it will happen in future those actions will take place in future its first usage at the time of the speech when we any decision about the future is made in other words like this time is not used for previously planned and finalized actions in this use it is translated as like let me go let me come rather than its appendices showing advanced time such as I will go I will come means let me go means I will go let me come means I will come so it's it's the prediction of future we are taking decision you will answer Catherine I can't carry this luggage myself you will help me its second usage is to give predictions about future events that what will happen in future she will reject your proposal means it's one kind of predictions that she will reject your proposal it will not rain today we will not reach there on time and third usage is future indefinite tense is used to make promises like I will never leave you it's promise and it's used in future we are talking about future we will fight for our rights I will be here when you come back fourth usage is future indefinite tense is used to talk about willingness and unwillingness she will not means she won't work with her anymore so it's unwillingness it shows unwillingness that she will not work with that within that company or with that person anymore he won't see you means he will not see you contractions so it's contractions I will I will you will you will and he will after he there should be that uh, pause then coma then double L then she will the same they will will not we say want a simple formula is subject plus shell will and shell plus first form of the verb plus object the first sentence is we shall move to another city now here we is what subject then shell helping verb which are also called auxiliary verbs then move because in future in different tense we use first form of the verb to another city is what object he will come to New York to New York tomorrow they will invite us to a party now there is what subject then will then invite invite is first form of the verb us object to a party again is object negative set formula subject will and shall not first form of the verb plus object like student will not ring the bell student is what subject will is what it's helping verb which is also called auxiliary verb ring is what not because we are talking about negative so 
not is important not is imperative then ring first move of the verb the bell is object michael will not go for a morning walk feroz will not sing a song interrogative formula when we talk about interrogative so at the last there should be question mark like will and shall subject first move of the verb object and question mark will the teacher resign will is what helping verb the is subject the teacher is subject and resign is what first form of the verb so here there is no object at the uh, form of like form of verb the sentence has stopped will ali and michael play football will team b win the competition what will he drink at lunch yeah what will he take at lunch what kind of food she will take at lunch so here is a short quiz for you all use these five words in future indefinite tense and try to comment try to make sentences on these five words and write in comment section the first one is help second one is complete third is reconcile Su fourth is suggest and fifth is invite so i hope this video has been helpful for you thanks for watching if this video has sparked your interest i suggest you request you to like share and comment thanks for watching